Hey guys, it's Keezy here today, and today is package day. So, I'm gonna go down to the mailbox to get a special package. So guys, today we will be looking at the Disney ILY fashion dolls. Hopefully you guys can hear me, this is like construction going on next to my apartment complex. But yeah, we'll be looking at the Disney ILY fashion dolls. I actually ordered two of them and yeah, I want to see what they're looking like. So of course I'm headed down to the mailbox getting my daily exercise in. And yeah, we're gonna go see if they are down here in the mailroom, which they should be, because I got a notification that they were delivered. So yeah. All right, guys, so now let's take a look at the new Disney ILY Cinderella and Belle. Those aren't their actual names, but you know, they're they're inspired by them, right? <laughs> we'll also be taking a look at the Jasmine fashion pack and also the Rapunzel fashion pack. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we'll start out with the Cinderella inspired one first. So let's just go over the box here. On the side here, you can see that it says Cinderella and then it says inspired by right in front of that. On the bottom left corner, you can see it says Disney ILY forever. On the right side here, you can see this beautiful artwork of Cinderella here. Also, you can see at the top here, it says doll pack, and then this these dolls are for three and older. On the side here, it says styled for you, and you can see the Disney ILY logo. And then you see a really big picture of the doll here in her outfit, and you can see a little crown artwork right here. On the back, it has a big picture of all the dolls that come in this set. I got two of them. And then there's a little heart with another picture of the doll. It also says, show off the Cinderella in you with Disney ILY forever. If you guys want the UPC for this doll, it is right here. I'm not sure if it'll work though. So I just wanna say, because I forget this in every one of my doll reviews, I got this doll from the shopdisney.com website and she was $19.99 and the fashion packs were $16.99. And now that we've taken a look at what she looks like in the box, let's go ahead and get her out. All right, so we got her unboxed and I definitely have some thoughts, but I'm gonna try to save my thoughts for later. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start with the surprise. So she does come with this little balloon, it has a Mickey Mouse on it, and it's really cute and blue, and it has a little handle so that she can hold it. On the inside of here is actually a surprise. It is a little snack that they sell at Disneyland, and if you didn't know, this whole line is based on regular people being Disney bounders. Um, I honestly will be honest, I didn't know that term before these dolls and watching a couple of other people's reviews. So yes, they are Disney bounders, which is basically people who dress up in outfits that are inspired by the princesses, which I think is a cute idea for sure. But without further ado, let's see what snack that we got. So we got a little Mickey Mouse pretzel with it looks like some either cheese or mustard on a little white plate. I think this is so cute. I think it would be nice to use with other dolls. The plate looks like it's molded really well. Yeah, so we got a little pretzel. And next we'll take a look at the Inspired by Cinderella's bag. So she has this little quilted bag with a little glitter bow on there. The back is undetailed. Does it open? Does it open? It looks like it opens. Yes, it does open. The opening is really small, so you probably couldn't fit too much in there. It does have some silver little buckles on the very side. And this is a fabric strap, with this, which is really, really cute. 
As another additional accessory, she comes with this blue camera. It doesn't have too many painted details other than the lens and the little button right here. It does have a little pumpkin dangling down off the strap, which is really cute. And then it has this little rubber band that came in the packaging, which would probably help you attach it to the doll. And next for clothing, so the Inspired by Cinderella doll has this big oversized sweater. It does say bippity boppity boo all over it, which is really, really cute. Um, it does actually continue onto the back, which is really nice. And it is supposed to be kind of slouchy and off one to one shoulder, which I think is cute. The the material feels really soft and it actually feels really, really thick. So I like this piece. So the Inspired by Cinderella doll also comes with a little bit of some Minnie Mouse ears. They are blue with some blue holographic glitter. It also has this nice little silver bow and it does continue on the back. This is definitely very cute and of course it definitely gives Disneyland vibes. She also has this gold necklace that it looks like a little bit of a chain. And then it has a little pendant on the very bottom that is a clock, of course, giving that Cinderella at midnight vibe. Okay, and now we'll take a look at her undershirt. So it is this crop top with, I believe, I don't know what that is. I feel like that's supposed to be, oh, so that is supposed to be a glass slipper as the emblem on the side here. It almost looked like a, a diamond that wasn't finished, but it's a glass slipper. <laughs> then it has these little straps that come around the waist. I think this is really, really cute. I actually do like the construction of this top and it does Velcro in the back. She also has some blue, pink, and white leggings. They kind of have this swirl pattern on them. I think they're kind of supposed to mimic the Cinderella transformation they are kind of thin to be honest but I do feel like it does kind of complete the look that she has going on and you can kind of see some stars throughout so yeah I mean they are cute for the shoes they are just some regular silver flats they have a little bit of a bow on the very front and you can see that they are rubber banded to her feet and then you can see that she has some black soles uh, I'm not really a huge fan of flats on dolls, but you know, it works. She's supposed to be a Disney bounder. She's at Disneyland, so she wouldn't necessarily wear heels, right? But now that we've taken a look at her outfit, let's go ahead and take a look at her screening. So there's honestly not very much to look at here, but she does have some brown eyebrows. They do have some brush strokes to kind of mimic the hairs going throughout. For her eye makeup, I mean, there basically isn't any. She doesn't really have, she maybe has like a little light brown on her lid, but it's very, very subtle. And then she does have some black eyeliner on the top. Of course, you can see her eyelashes and she has some brown eyes. For her blush, she has a little bit of peach blush on each cheek. And then for her lips, they are kind of two-tone. So her top lip is a little bit pinker than her bottom lip. And yeah, I mean, it's a very simple screening. What I do like is that they do give all of these dolls unique molds. So she's the only one with this mold, which is very cute and very nice for diversity. Okay, so now let's take a look at her hair. So she has this kind of mix of brown and dark brown, and it is pulled into a high ponytail. She does not have a part line here. She does have a little hair wrapped around the ponytail, which was actually done pretty well. I did have to redo it because she had a thread on this side that I wanted to remove. But she also has this ponytail that kind of reaches her uh, butt. But this is polypropylene. It is really dry and really frizzy at the ends. You can kind of see it there. I'll be honest, I'm pretty disappointed about this <laughs> because of course, like I, I'm a doll restyler. Like I do a lot of doll hair in my videos. That's kind of like what my channel is based around. And when a doll that is $29.99 has polypropylene hair, it's honestly kind of disappointing and honestly a little bit uninspiring so I'll so I'll be honest I'm definitely not happy about that that this hair is probably propylene like just to kind of give you some insight rainbow high dolls and shadow high dolls are now $25.99 I would say they come with the same amount of stuff maybe even more and they don't use cheap hair like this so I'll be honest there's no excuse for this and I yeah it's kind of like unsettling for me but now that we've taken a look at her hair, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. So these dolls are pretty well articulated, so they do swivel at the head. 
they do bend at the elbow here they also bend at the wrist even though it kind of is limited at the wrist here there is no chest joint but there is a double joint at the knee that is really really good you can see that it has a lot of range of motion and then they also do have ankle articulation which is nice as well but now that we've taken a look at Inspired by Cinderella, let's go ahead and take a look at Inspired by Belle. As you can see on the side here, it says Inspired by Belle. It has the Disney ILY Forever logo right here, and then another beautiful artwork of Belle right here on the side. It also has a nice little picture of the doll. On the back here, again, it has this big picture of all the dolls together. And in the heart, you can see the picture of the Inspired by Belle doll. And then I'm not gonna read that again because it's the same as on the other box. She was also $29.99 and her, the fashion pack that I got for her was also $16.99. So now that we've taken a look at what she looks like in the box, let's go ahead and get her out. All right, so now that we've gotten an Inspired by Belle out of the box, let's look at the things that she comes with. First, let's see which snack that we got from Disneyland. That is always the fun part, right? So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this balloon here and see what we got in the paper. Oh wow, this is so cute. So I wanna say these are lollipops, but they look like they're in like a, um, a cup. So yeah. I got two lollipops, which is really, really cute. Kind of matches her pretty well, so I like that. By the way, it does have a yellow Mickey Mouse on there, which is really cute. I didn't show this with the Inspired by Cinderella doll, but these are all the little ILY Forever snacks that you can get. You have an ice cream pancake, another ice cream, and it looks like some Rice Krispies. On the back, you can get also the lollipops, the pretzel, the popcorn, uh, looks like some candy apples, maybe some cookies, and a chocolate bar. All right, and next we'll take a look at the bag. So it is this kind of rose purse, so it's a little bit of a rose here. Then it has these gold chains here that go up into a buckle. On the side here, it has this little charm that I can't honestly tell what it is. It does have a brown fabric strap, which is really, really cute. It does open, but it's gonna be pretty hard to get anything inside of there for sure. Next, we'll take a look at the cell phone. So it looks like this is like some type of Samsung phone. <laughs> it does have this cute little pop socket on the back. It doesn't actually work as an actual pop socket, but you know, details are still nice. On the back, the case is pink with a couple of roses and a couple of little white and yellow dots. Okay, and then we'll take a look at the jacket that she comes with. So she comes with this dark denim jacket that has some distressing on it, and it's basically distressed all the way around. It doesn't have anything on the back, but the sleeves here are cuffed. It also does have some nice embroidered roses on there, so I definitely feel like that is a nice touch. It's not lined or anything on the inside, and the denim isn't very thick, but it's still a cute piece. Inspired by Belle also comes with two different earrings here. So they are these little roses. They almost feel like the same mold as her, as her purse, but there is one on each side and I think they're definitely really, really pretty. All right, now looking at her little Mickey Mouse ears. So they are red and gold. Hers have a little bit of a rose in the middle and a bow, which is gold and glittery. And then you can see that the Mickey Mouse ears also have some gold around it as well. I wanna say it has a little molded in rose here if I'm not mistaken that's what it looks like to me so that's a really nice touch she also comes with this little necklace so it is a kind of gold link necklace that has a little teacup on there which is a super cute little nod to the movie We'll also take a look at her dress. So she does have this yellow kind of mini dress on. It does have a tie in the very middle and it has some ruffled shoulders. It then kind of goes down into a drop waist and it does have some more ruffles that go around the dress. It does Velcro in the back, of course, and it kind of has a square neckline in the back as well. I don't really like this dress. I honestly don't like the material that they made this dress out of. It just is not hemmed, number one, on the on any of the edges. So I think that automatically kind of makes it look really cheap. And then when you have ruffles that aren't like double faced, I can hate when you see the, the white side of the fabric. 
I personally don't like this dress, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> And then shoes, she does have two little sneakers. They are white with some red laces. They do have a white tread on them. The shoe itself is actually a little bit cream. And you can kind of see some pan painted almost looking roses all the way around. I think that these are really cute and really nice. And now that we've taken a look at her clothing, we'll go ahead and take a look at her face up. So she has some brown eyebrows. Again, you can kind of see the brush strokes to mimic the hair going throughout them. For her eyes, she has a little bit more makeup than Cinderella did. So she has like this brown and gold smoky eye with the gold being on the lid. She does have some black liner as well. She also has some brown eyes that look like they have a hint of some purple in them. And then for her nose, she does have like one of the wider noses, which I love when they do that. For people of color, you can't beat that. She also has some peachy blush on her cheeks. And for her lip, her lip is also two-toned, but it's kind of like this peachy pink lip on the very top. And on the bottom, it's kind of like a lighter pink. I really like her face. She's probably one of my favorites that I've seen so far. All right, and for her hair, she has this big curly fro. It does have a rubber band that's kind of holding it back. The hair doesn't have a rooted part or anything, which is fine when you have big hair like this. I definitely want to say that this is also polypropylene. The hair doesn't feel really soft or anything. I will say though, I don't particularly mind when they do curly hair that is polypropylene because, you know, as people of color, we all have different textures of hair, so it doesn't have to be super duper soft. I think that this does mimic natural hair pretty well. And Inspired by Belle also has the exact same articulation as Inspired by Cinderella, so I won't go over that. But now that we've taken a look at both dolls, let's look at the fashion packs. Okay, so now let's take a look at the boxes that the fashion packs come in. So this is the Inspired by Rapunzel fashion pack. As you can see, it has this nice little artwork of Rapunzel right here. It has the, the Disney ILY Forever logo. And then of course it says Inspired by Rapunzel on the side here. On the back, you can kind of see this big heart that has the doll that they are modeling the fashion pack with. So that is the Inspired by Belle doll. And of course it has like some little graphics all the way around. And then it says, show off the Rapunzel in you with the Disney ILY Forever. And if you're looking for this, this is the UPC that is on the back of this box. So this is the Inspired by Princess Jasmine fashion pack. Of course, again, it has the Disney ILY Forever logo, a nice little artwork of Jasmine right there. And on the back, you can see that heart again with the doll that they have modeling the fashion pack. And again, those same little graphics. But now that I've shown you the box, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the dolls so we can take a look at what they actually look like. Okay, so now we have the fashion packs on the dolls. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that come in the fashion pack. So the Inspired by Jasmine one comes with this little green smoothie. The cap doesn't come off or anything, but it does have a little green straw right here. And it also has a handle on the side so that she can carry it. You can kind of see that it has a molded in um, lantern there which is really really cute detail she also comes with this little clutch it does have some tiger stripes on there it also has a nice little blue tassel and the back is plain this fashion pack also comes with some sunglasses they are like this nice little teal blue they do have this little moon molded on the side on each of the glasses arms it also does have some tinted lenses in there mine is missing a little bit of paint there which is kind of annoying but it is what it is i can look past it the fashion pack also comes with this little blue scrunchie. It is blue and has some darker blue. I think what these are also tiger stripes on them. This is really cute. The fashion pack also comes with some jewelry. So it has this gold chain with a little moon pendant on it. It's really, really nice. I do wish that it was electroplated. I feel like I always talk about that when I talk about accessories. So the Inspired by Jasmine fashion pack comes with this nice little yellow crop top. It is a wrap crop top and it does have some printed on tiger stripes on the sleeves. 
Under it, it does have a bralette. It is kind of blue and holographic. It is attached to the actual shirt, so you cannot use this as a separate piece, which is unfortunate, but I still like the look of it all together. For her pants, she comes with these teal blue kind of balloon pants. They have this waistband here that is a slightly different material, and it also continues on the bottom of the pants here as well. You can see this little blue bow that's tied there, which I think is a really nice detail. And I really love the print of these pants. If you know what type of print this is, let me know in the comments down below. And then for shoes, she has these little wedge sandals. They are, again, a nice little blue. They do have some molded on moons on the straps there. And the tread of the shoes is a tan. I'll be honest, they're not my favorite. They kind of feel a little bit dated to me. But that is all for the Inspired by Jasmine fashion pack. Let's look at the Inspired by Rapunzel one. So the Inspired by Rapunzel fashion pack comes with these two notebooks. One is purple and it does open, doesn't have anything written in there. And the other one is this kind of tan notebook, which has some painted on silver details and some flowers. It does open up as well and she hasn't written anything in it. <laughs> The backpack that comes with this fashion pack is purple. It has some little flower prints all around. The back doesn't have anything on it. It does not look like it's functional, so you can't open it up or anything, but it does have a gold zipper there and some gold trimming. It also has a gold handle and some gold straps, and this is really cute. So moving on to the accessories that comes with this fashion pack, it is again another gold chain. It has this little sun pendant with a pink little jewel in the middle. And now looking at the sweater itself, so I'll go ahead and say it, I really do like this sweater. It's very nice and thick and a soft material. What really sold me on this fashion pack is I love the real working laces on the sleeves and you can kind of see how it's threaded through the shirt itself. It also kind of has some embroidered on eyelets, which is a really nice touch. It's a simple piece, but I think it'll go really well if you like to style other dolls. Now moving on to the shorts, they are some blue denim shorts. They have some orange stitching like most jeans do. They are distressed here on the bottom and they do have on some ironed on little sun and flower details on each pocket. The front pockets are not working, they're just stitched, but the back pockets do actually function. Uh, weird choice, but <laughs> it is what it is. I do feel like this material is a little bit thin though. And last but not least for the fashion pack, she does come with some sneakers. They are a nice little lavender. They have some molded on lines here and some molded on stitching. The shoelaces are white and they do have a little white toe cap here as well. And the tread on the shoes are also white. All right, so now that we've taken a look at each doll, I'll go ahead and give you my final thoughts about how I feel about them. So I will say overall, they're cute. <laughs> and that's about as much as I can say about them. They're cute. <laughs> but not in a they're cute, I want to buy more type of way. Uh, I will say some of the pros. I do like the face sculpts. I think that it's really nice that they gave us nice, diverse face sculpts. I also like that they gave the black girl natural hair. That is always a plus in my book. I think the colors on the face up are definitely really high quality. And that's honestly all I can say about the pros. Now about the cons, I will say I'm not a big fan of some of the materials that they use for the clothing. I do not like the type of hair they gave them. I don't know why they did polypropylene for a $29.99 doll. I don't think that is appropriate for the price point. <laughs> so I will say that maybe that I'm just not the demographic for these dolls. I will preface by saying that I'm not a huge Disney fan. I feel like if you are a huge fan of Disney that you may enjoy these dolls pretty well but for me they're just kind of eh. <laughs> I definitely am glad that I only picked up two the two that I really liked maybe if I see more of them in store maybe I'll like them better but as of right now I'm I'm kind of just I'm just kind of I won't say that, I don't want to say that I'm unimpressed, but I will say that they could have done better. I'm interested to see what the second line of these dolls are, will be like. They're just not worth it to me. I feel like the materials and the hair quality is just not as nice as other dolls that are on the, on the market right now. And that's just my opinion. But 
You guys tell me what you think about these dolls in the comments down below. But now that we've taken a look at both dolls, let's do a little bit of a restyle on them. So I know some of you guys are probably like, that review wasn't even that negative. Oh, but it gets worse. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and boil some water for uh, the Inspired by Cinderella doll. And then the Inspired by Belle doll, you can see I'm just steaming out her hair. I didn't wash either of their hair or anything like that because they didn't have any product. So I'm just steaming the Inspired by Belle doll and just fluffing out her hair a little bit. And then I'll just proceed to put it in a half up half down style after I finish with that. So the Cinderella doll definitely needed a boil wash, so I did my special little concoction of some fabric softener and a little bit of conditioner. Then I poured the boiling water into the bowl and things went left after this. Um, <laughs> Okay, and so I'm going to do my regular routine. So I'm going to dunk the doll into the bowl and then use the wider side of my flea comb to kind of make sure that that boiling water is touching all the strands. I started to at the ends because that's what you're supposed to do. And as you can see, her hair is shedding and it shedded in clumps the entire time that I was boil washing her hair. It just kept coming out and kept coming out. And yeah, so I'll be totally honest with you guys. Yeah, I was I was upset. I was pissed. <laughs> and I d didn't even finish showing you the restyle. I was so upset with this doll at this point because yeah, $30 and she's shedding her hair and it's polypropylene. Yeah, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. So I didn't even finish her restyle. <laughs> So all you guys are going to see me do is, yeah, just shape up the Belle doll. And honestly, that's going to be it for the restyle on these dolls. I, I didn't like them. I didn't like them at all. I didn't like them. <laughs> all right, guys. And that is all for my Disney I.O.Y. Forever restyle and review yeah mm -mm, mm -mm, no <laughs> no um i know these dolls have been getting such positive reviews such positive reviews but honestly i stand by my original opinion i cannot recommend them for the price point i think that they have cheap materials cheap hair the best thing about them is their face to be honest um yeah I don't like them. <laughs> and I, yeah, I didn't want to be that person to put out a negative review, but you guys said you wanted this. So, <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up down below. Also, tell me your thoughts about these dolls in the comment section down below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video and you like doll restyles and reviews, hit that subscribe button down below. See you guys. Peace. Life is